For this question, we have a store that is trying to stop customers from buying too many toilet rolls. So they allow a maximum of three toilet rolls. So we have asked the customer how many toilet rolls do they want on the first bullet point. So we do that, we can create a variable called it, it called rolls, and then we use integer because it's gonna be a whole number because it cannot have half a roll, and then input to ask the question. Then we need to create a while loop because in bullet point three, it says, ask the question repeatedly if the user enters three or above, or, uh, uh, well, above three, or a number below one. So they cannot enter zero or minus one, and they also cannot enter any number above three. So to do that, we can create the while loop, while rolls is greater than three, so as if the rolls is greater than three, or the rolls is less than one, then what we need to do is we need to ask the question again. So if any of these two conditions, if the left condition or the right condition is true, then we ask the question again. And this will keep looping and looping and looping until they get it right. Once they enter one, two, or three, then it will work. Once it works, we need to go to the if statement. So if rolls is equal to one, so if they did pick one, then the price is going to be two pounds because that's in the question says they ch charge two pounds for one roll. Then it says if the choice is two, if they pick two, then the price is six. Otherwise, they must have picked three. So if they didn't pick one, they didn't pick two, then they must have picked three because they were their, the only options. So we just put else and then we print 12 pounds for three rolls.